the, the, the purpose of play is to, is to take, take a subject which is very important and very controversial and full of, full of conflict and full of, full of ideas and to translate it into real human terms. And the reason that we did it is so that like, we would actually go there, get to know these actual people, try to you know, put their voices on stage so that our audiences could have a similar experience and you know, not engaging the subject on the, on the sort of level of just like ideas or sound bites or uh, sort of the shorthand of the media, but to actually you know, encounter this subject as you would if you were understanding. You could say that, yes. Yeah, no, yeah, I think I think to, to to promote like real real discourse. You know, and, and in a sense, you know, uh, if there is not necessarily to 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 make everyone agree with each other, but to but to have an experience of common ground of actually, you know, meeting people as as people and knowing Know, what their story is on a very human level. I can feel the uh, how profound your you know, your input what happened to you was. I think and I think it's bad. The problem is, is when you have in our situation, and certainly in Colorado's when it's so heavily military, when you have a military superior to tell us for you, that because they don't have your exact same experience now, right. because you don't have it, they uh, they have great doubt about your verisimilitude, veracity, character, and integrity. You see, that's the same thing as telling somebody they're stupid because of the color of their skin. And that's what we're fighting. And I know that the feeling is they want other people to have this feeling. Yeah. And, and but in a position of authority, if you're a shift manager at Starbucks, Wendy's, KFC, then you still can't do it because it violates Title VII of the U.S. Code. But as I was, I've told people before, if you're even being gently evangelized, even sharing that experience with a subordinate in the military, get the hell out of my damn face, sir, man, it's not an option for you. So they come to us and we fight. And so we're at war with this exact same feeling. Not that you have, but with people that think, I need to use my position of authority to push it on somebody that can't fight back. This is a sorrowful thing when you feel like you're and you can't share it because of the complexity of the comments. But you can share it in a shopping mall at a doctor's yeah. You can share it on the you walk down the street. You just can't yeah. do it in the employment relationship, and particularly not in the military superior to subordinate relationship. Mm -hmm. But that's what's happening while we're fighting. You know, the insurrectionists, the jihadists, Al-Qaeda, the Taliban, who are doing the exact same thing. Mm -hmm. And we're at war right now, a real war. Except we won't kill you. Well, some of us won't kill you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, the hope that I take from this is I, I think that we do uh, spend a whole lot of time talking to people just like ourselves. Um, and there are a lot of Christians who are who feel that they are not represented. I, I go back to the same thing about this kind of middle ground. People, people who don't know anything about the church uh, assume that the whole world is, the whole Christian world is a new life or something much more conservative than a new life. Uh, that, that, that is kind of, uh, and so people uh, don't, so, so you, you have helped us see that we're talking about real people and not characters. Just the need to say to you all that, that part of the brilliance of this play in the writing and the directing and the acting is the clear delineation between this, this plethora of characters that are up there. And I just have to applaud the brilliance on all those levels. Yes.